Welcome back guys, today we're going to build this battery junction terminal, the cheap way. But before we start, I would like to ask you to actually subscribe to my channel. Don't forget that, because otherwise you might miss a really good content. When it comes to the bus bar, I will be using this sort of pipe here, that is rather thick. I think it is 28 millimeters here and 1 or 1.5 millimeters thick. And I need roughly... 28 centimeter of piece to do this and then I need another at least uh, 6 or 8 centimeters more so, so let's get this together, the third Thor that's where we're going to put it so first of all I just make sure to and meanwhile I'm stirring around on the pipe to make it flat don't forget to subscribe to my channel guys, because otherwise you might miss some content. And when it's flattened out, I end up with something like this. So it's time to measure this up. And I need 14 centimeters and then bend it. Another 28 and that should be the end. And then I want to raise it at least 2 centimeters here. Let's see what we have left, 6. So let's raise it 3 centimeters out, out of the air. Before you bend it, you should go over and remove as much corrosion as possible. Doing this by actually removing the corrosion, you will get a little bit better contact, and that's really needed. Uh, now what I'm doing, actually bending it together, just to get uh, twice the amount of surface and thickness. Um, since I have the pipe, I just overdo it a little bit. I did create uh, some sort of tab in one of the ends. You could do this in two pieces and you don't have to actually make the bracket that I will show you in the end. Um, but this was my first try and I didn't actually videotape the other one of some reason, so that's how it is. Uh, time for drilling the holes, I'm just marking it out a little bit quick. Uh, nothing fancy here actually. Um, the terminal itself has been working really really great, so... 9mm uh, drill holes, just to be able to get uh, screws in. I'm using M8, so the bus bar itself should be able to cope with a couple of hundred amps if needed, so that should not be a big issue at all. Uh, now I'm actually drilling the holes to fit the bus bar on the wall or wherever you want it. Um, this end will be on the wall, the other one was to the wooden plate itself that will be shown in the end. And here we have the final result. And this should easily fit six of these and be able to carry the current easily as well due to the massive size of this uh, thing here. And you may wonder, yeah, but why is it open here? It has to go all the way around, but at the same time when they are clamped together that's not a big issue either because it will go directly over, so that, that's totally fine for the current that I'm going to draw. And this is the result of this uh, bus bar style that I did. It works pretty fine and I've been uh, using it for a couple of weeks now, so basically if you want to do this, it's very very simple. Thank you guys for watching this very very short video and if you haven't already subscribed to my channel don't forget to do that. You will be missing a lot of good content if you don't. Thanks for once again and i see you next time.